Hi, my name is Tammy Boyd. My college journey began with the focus of education. I completed all of the required pre-admission courses as well as I did a full semester of student teaching in various public school settings. My journey changed and I switched my focus over to psychology. I obtained my bachelor's degree with a minor of family science and I decided to pursue on to my master's degree which I got my master's of behavioral science with a primary focus on counseling. I was going to do a license between a licensed professional counselor and a marriage and family therapist. However, life got in the way and for the past five years I have been a stay-at-home mom and a housewife. The uh, opportunity of the UTeach program through EPIC is a wonderful experience that I hope to be able to um, enjoy. I believe that I will be a good fit with this EPIC program. I want to thank you for your time and for your consideration. Now to begin with the tasks. Uh, my first uh, summary is over data-driven instruction. This in a nutshell is where information is gathered from the results of learning to determine what is needed for the next set of instructions. Basically, as instructors, also purpose is to ensure that every student learns. This makes gathering data to evaluate what has been learned by the student as an individual and what needs to be learned is very reliant on the outcome of this collection that we of data that we get. Uh, traditionally, teaching instructions are set by lesson plans, curriculum guides, and textbooks student readiness and need was not a consideration in these uh, traditional settings. Um, in order to be effective, a student needs to be viewed as an individual learner. Once this individualization is established, then the best method, best method of instruction can be determined. This is when the data-driven instruction becomes important to the classroom instruction process. During a classroom day, uh, there are two forms of data that appear, which is the formative and the summative. The formative is the data that is being learned as suiting and learning occurs, and then the summative data is the information that is gathering once the learning period has ended. With this data both being analyzed, you look for patterns of success and needs. Uh, Typically, in educationers uh, don't really focus too much on the numbers, but research has shown that an educator may feel that a child needs help in a certain area where they actually, the numbers show that they need help in a, certain, a different area that would be more beneficial to them. And that allows for the teacher to change the individual uh, lesson plans. Um, in conclusion, by becoming a data-driven instructor and education, educationer um, might feel overwhelmed by this data collection process and analysis, but it's very important for them to meet the learning needs of each individual student. Therefore, there's a lot of research out there that will help each instructor or professional be able to reach out to other professionals who are already using this program and they can share their successes and the needs that need to be corrected. The second task was differentiated instruction. This is a way of teaching that really doesn't come from a set of set program or a worksheet package. The idea is that education educators know their students so that he or she provide each student with experiences and tasks that will improve learning. Uh, the term differentiation means students uh, have several often op options in taking in um, information. The uh, educator can observe and understand the similarities and differences among each student and that will help them uh, plan the instruction. Uh, there are some key principles that set up the foundation of differential instruction. 
Um, these key principles are ongoing formative assessment, recognition of diverse learners, and choice. Ongoing formative assessment is where educators continually assess and identify student strengths as well as areas of need. That way they're able to meet that student right where they are. The recognition of diverse learners is that students being taught all have diverse levels of experience and expertise with reading, writing, thinking, problem solving, and speaking. And these ongoing assessments empower educators to develop differentiated lessons that will encompass the student's needs. And the third principle is choice. This is where educators offer students choice in their reading and writing experiences. This will help students and teachers be able to negotiate, um, to be creative, to make motivating assessments and assignments that will help the students' diverse interests and various needs. Um, these principles can demonstrate that educationers uh, continually strive to know and respond to each student needs so that learning can be motivated. Um, in conclusion, instruction, differentiated instruction has been proven to be a large impact on students and it's very important to implicate this. The final one is personalized learning, which is not to be confused with or to replace an IEP or any other kind of intervention, interventional programs. Uh, this is basically where the student is m evaluated more for his individual needs and experiences and strengths rather than his deficits. Thank you for your time.